Hello, believers, non-believers, everyone in between. It's me, and uh, I wanted to do a little video about uh, something that uh, Madonna had posted on Instagram. I guess I follow Madonna on Instagram, and because, um, you know, I, I grew up listening to Madonna as a teenager, and, you know, back in the 80s, you didn't think about all these celebrities being, like, evil or following the devil or being Satanist or Illuminati or whatever it is. You, you just didn't, that wasn't talked about, you know, um, until recently when the internet is so accessible now. So she posted something, and I'll put it in the video, about, um, let's see, let me go look okay, at She it said, now. when you so sell your soul to the devil, you're not allowed to ask for it back. Okay, I looked at that and I, I was like, no, that I disagree, Madonna. I disagree. Um, the devil technically doesn't own your soul. <laughs> um, you choose to follow him or to give him access to you or access to your eternal future. You give him access. There are people that have been Satanist. They have sold their soul, made packs with the devil that are Christian, fire, on fire Christians now. Look at John Ramirez. I'll put some links down in the uh, description to Earthquake Kelly. He used to uh, be a he used to be a warlock of some sort, and he is a on fire Christian. So see, Jesus died, and he has the keys to heaven and to hell, death. He has the keys. It's just all you have to do is trust him and accept him as your Lord and Savior and believe that he died and rose again and is seated at the right hand of God. And the devil cannot have a hold on you. And Jesus will make a way. Like, I think a lot of these Illuminati people, they're afraid. And for good reason. These people will probably kill you for trying to get out of their coven quotations. You know, it's pretty much a coven witches and everyone in Hollywood, but even the very, you know, you're not going to take it with you when you die. You're going to go out of this world just like you came in with nothing. And you're going to have to stand before God Almighty, and he's going to ask, do you know my son? And you, if you, I mean, you know, if he doesn't know you and you're not in the book of life, you're, you're just, you're toast, Okay. But it's not the end of the world. You still have, I mean, there's still hope while you're still alive. You can turn your back on Satan. You can. You can ask for your soul back. You can. Jesus, okay. If any celebrity out there sees this, you do not have to be a slave to Satan anymore. If you choose Christ, it's very simple. Um, I just, it's just, it's just terrible to think that they they feel like they're trapped. I mean, that, that is a clear message. I mean, you know, I don't want to think of people, these pop stars being like chained to, chained to Satan, but they are, they are Satanists. They, all this is true that you see on the internet, like you see on YouTube, these people that show them doing all, all this worship of Satan and everything. It's true. They really are doing it. And um, that's their God. That is the one that they attribute to everything that they have. But how hopeless is that life? How hopeless? So there is a good shepherd. There is one that can save you. It's just that so few people want to, you know, and like Jesus was in the crowd. God can, he can cover you and make you disappear to where you won't, you can get away from that type of lifestyle. Jesus is more powerful than, God is more powerful than anything. Nothing is too hard for God. So uh, I just wanted to say that, that no matter where you are, no matter how far down you are, God can pick you up. He can find you in the darkest places, and he can search you out and find you. He can. And he has the power to get you out of Satan's grit. He really does. God bless you all. If you need prayer, let me know. Jesus is the Son of God. He died for you as your sacrifice. Um, so 
Trust him. Thanks.